Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. So today I'll be talking about using Redux in Angular. So let's get started. So today I'll be using ngRx to implement Redux in our Angular project. So as you can see the picture, ngRx is the combination of Redux, RxJx and Angular. Where Redux is used to manage the state throughout the application and RxJS is used to work with asynchronous data streams and finally Angular is the place where you are going to work. Alright, let's implement ngRx in our Angular project. So before starting make sure that you have already installed Angular CLI in your system and then in your terminal just write ng space new space your app name i'm giving my app name as angular dash redux and just keep this routing part and choose css and then enter into your directory writing series space your app name and then you have to install the ngrs library and you can also install it via npm here i'm using ng space add to install so write ng space add space at ngrx slash store at latest it will install the latest version of ngrx and then uh, you have to create one component so i will name the component as my counter so write ng space g space c uh, the short form of generate uh, component and then write simply my dash counter so finally i am writing code space dot to open my code editor so here i'm going to build one counter application to increment and decrement a number so go inside ssc directory and then app directory you will get app component.html file just date everything from there and if you go inside my counter component uh, you can see the selected is app dash my counter so just replace it inside your app component.html file because i'm going to use this my counter component throughout the project so here basically i will need two buttons to increase the counter and decrease the counter so on clicking this uh, increment button i will call one method that is uh, increment and i will need one div to show the count so for that i'm just writing current count and calling one property that i will declare later in this video inside my task script file and again i will need this decrement button and on clicking on this decrement uh, button i will call decrement method and finally i will need one reset button so just uh, write like that okay now, now save it okay so now go inside uh, my counter dot component dot script file so at first you need to declare that uh, property that you have declared inside your uh, components html file so write count dollar colon then write simply the type the type will be observable and you need to import it from rxjs and then inside the constructor you need to simply uh, initialize or instantiate this uh, store and make sure to import it from at ngrx slash store so uh, inside the store i will need to define uh, what i'm going to use so here i'm going to use so one simple number so for that i'm defining the count as number and inside this uh, constructor uh, definition i will simply write this dot that property count is equals to store dot pipe and i will select this count whatever i have defined inside my store so make sure to import this select from at ngrx store then simply declare the methods that you have called from the component html file so inside this increment method simply write this dot store dot dispatch and you need to dispatch one action that is uh, increment and then for decrement also need to write this dot store dot dispatch and here simply write decrement and for reset uh, same as the previous ones just write this dot store dot dispatch and write simply reset now you need to define those actions right so for that inside your app directory just create one file named counter.actions.ts so inside this uh, counter actions.task file you have to first import counter action from at ngrx slash store and then you have to define the all the action names the first one is increment to uh, create one increment action so simply write export const increment equals to create action and then 
uh, inside the braces just give the type of uh, the increment action that is increment and do the same for decrement and do the same for also uh, reset okay now uh, you need to import it inside your my counter component.ts file remember you have used these actions but you haven't imported it so just import it and you are good to go okay so uh, i will need one reducer file so inside this uh, app folder just create one reducer file counter dot reducer dot ts and at first you have to uh, import create reducer from at ngrx slash store and then simply write import increment decrement and reset and you have to import it from that action file and then i have to initialize the state to zero so for that uh, simply write export const initial state equals to zero and then uh, i have to create one reducer so for that write const underscore counter reducer equals to create reducer so first give the initial state and then you have to import on from at ngrx store and then write on and inside the braces simply write increment so whenever this increment action will be dispatched uh, the state will be increased by one and on decrement the state will be decreased by uh, one and for reset whenever the reset action will be dispatched the state will become zero okay so these are all the reducer that uh, you will need uh, whenever you are dispatching one action so finally you have to write export function counter reducer and uh, it will take state and action and return the underscore counter reducer passing the state and action all right one last thing to do you have to inform angular that you are using redux so for that you have to go inside app module.ts file and here by default you can see store module.fall root is there and so inside that simply write count colon and just give that reducer and import it from there now simply write ng space serve to run your server and if you go inside your browser you can see everything is working perfectly here you can increment you can decrement and also you can reset okay so suppose you want to pass one payload whenever you are dispatching one action so you can do like this writing the payload and uh, keep one colon and then simply pass one object so i'm giving one object here as increment number as 10 so that uh, it will increase by 10 and inside your action uh, file you have to first uh, import the props from at uh, ngrx slash store and then inside your uh, increment action you have to define your payload like this and again you need to define also the type of the payload and here i'm defining any you can uh, define whatever so now inside the reducer file you have to receive that payload that uh, you are passing while dispatching so write state comma props and here the button name will be action so write that and here uh, just write state plus action dot payload dot increment number and now if you save it and go inside your browser you can see it is incrementing by 10 and it is decrementing by 1 and also if i just press on this reset button it is uh, resetting my state so it is working perfectly so that's it for today i hope this video has helped you to understand the using of ngrx inside your angular project so thank you for watching my video please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video thank you